Ferrari is finally releasing its first ever SUV. Except it's not really an SUV. Take a look at this shot and the size comparison with the other cars in the street. More on that later. Ferrari has even revealed what it sounds like. And today, we're doing a full reveal. The front, the back, and the interior. This thing is gonna be the most powerful SUV on the planet and gonna cost around $350,000. But even though everyone wants to call it an SUV, it's kind of more of a crossover, with some people even calling it the bigger brother of the GTC4 Lusso. Regardless, it's been a long time coming. Supercar companies have always loved saying, an SUV? We're never gonna do that. No, no, no! And then they do. And then they make a lot of money. Yes, 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 yes! It all started 20 years ago with the Porsche Cayenne being the first ever performance SUV. And when it first came out, a lot of people were angry about it. You know, a large, tall, wobbly Porsche with an engine in the front? That's preposterous. There were even comments saying they were stooping to build a poser SUV just to satisfy the fat cat Americans. Fast forward 20 years later, and the Cayenne is so successful that you can buy it in 19 different models. And that doesn't even include the Macan. Since then, Bentley, Rolls-Royce, Aston Martin, and Lamborghini have also all come out with SUVs and their sales have exploded. The Urus was the fastest selling SUV ever and more than half of all of Lamborghini's total sales are the Urus. Ferrari's just looking on the sidelines, seeing Lamborghini raking it up. I mean, come on, what are they gonna do? I want some pie, okay? I want some pie. When former Ferrari president and CEO was asked in 2016 about making an SUV, he replied, you're gonna have to shoot me first. Fast forward six years, and here we are. We got the Ferrari Puro Sangue. And the absolute irony of calling their first ever SUV the Puro Sangue, because Puro Sangue means pure blood in Italian. So imagine calling your first ever SUV, something that's not naturally Ferrari, a pure-blooded car. But there might be a reason for that. And while a lot of people at Ferrari might hate the idea of building an SUV, to be honest, the initial creator, Enzo Ferrari, would probably be down with it. And that's because Ferrari's main passion is in building cars. It's racing. And it's the man in red, the Ferrari driver, who gives them their sixth world driver's title in the last eight years. See, the whole reason why Ferrari even began selling cars in the first place was to finance their racing. In fact, back in the 1960s, Enzo Ferrari sold his company to Fiat just to have money for his F1 and sports prototype teams. And now, Ferrari is the most successful Formula One team of all time. With celebrations for Ferrari, Charles Leclerc wins the Bahrain Grand Prix, and it is a one-two finish for the Scuderia. And this success is what gives them the name and brand recognition to easily sell their cars. But it was the cars they were selling that made the success possible. So it's like a beautiful, harmonious cycle. So imagine if you showed Enzo Ferrari the Urus' success making money. To be honest, he'd probably be like, Hell yeah, Patello, and Diamo. Because after all, he was a businessman. And to be honest, this is a good business. So anyways, here we are. It's 2022, and we got the Ferrari Puro Sangue on our hands. With the help of leaked images, rumors, and technology, we've been able to put together the first reveal of the brand new Ferrari Puro Sangue. Let's start with the lights. They went with this split headlight design that seems to be trending all over the car industry now. We've seen it on BMWs, on Audis, Genesis, etc. It's meant to give the cars eyes, but the real lights are hidden into the bodywork. You see how it just kind of follows that line in the front? In fact, the daytime running light looks similar to the ones that you see on the SP3. The light shapes in general look somewhat similar to the Roma as well, and then the mouth air intake does look similar to what you have on the SP2. It's the same kind of shape and it has the Ferrari badge in the middle. As you can see, the car is also super low, but you're gonna be able to adjust the height when driving. The front bonnet is also massive and that's because under the hood, you're gonna get a V12. In the future, you might be able to get a V8 hybrid or even a V6 hybrid, but for now, from what we understand, it's a V12, especially after Ferrari teased that sound. which might be why they called an SUV the pure blood, like a, like a little bit of a marketing strategy, you know? Like they're releasing an SUV, which is something completely off brand. But it's a pure blood because they're throwing a pure blooded Ferrari V12 under the hood. 
Just saying, it makes sense, right? The V12 is likely gonna be the one that we saw on the 812 super fast, which has almost 800 horsepower, 789 to be exact, and this would make it the world's most powerful stock SUV even more than the Aston Martin DBX 707 and the Lamborghini Urus Performante. More than the engine, it's gonna have a four wheel drive and a dual clutch transmission to give it extra fluidity when changing gears. It's gonna have a front mid engine, which basically means that the engine is right behind the front axle. This improves controlling and handling. All right, back to the outside of the car, you have these black wheel arches on the side that you see on a ton of different crossovers. It gives the illusion of it being more off-roady, and that's what they're going for, I guess. The four-wheel drive system from the Puro Sangue will likely be that of the GTC4 Lusso because that's the car that the Puro Sangue is gonna be replacing. All right, before we head over to the interior, let's go to the back of the car. You see those curves that go underneath the taillights? Also, speaking of taillights, they're no longer round. They have this kind of thin line look, similar to what the Roma had as well. You also have quad exhaust pipes. To be honest, the back, in my opinion, looks incredible. What we still don't know is how tall this car is gonna actually be. Because on images, you know, it still looks a little bit like an SUV, but this thing might only be this tall. And last but not least, it's time to show you guys the interior. Here it is. Behold. First of all, we can expect an infotainment screen because this is in fact a Ferrari for comfort and not a hypercar. We can expect the center console and screen being pretty similar to that of the GTC4 Lusso. Over on the steering wheel, we can expect a similar look to the SF90. Now, the SF90 does have a silent electric start. So this option could potentially only come with the future hybrid V8 version. But for now, we do expect the gauge cluster screen to be pretty similar to that of the SF90. Over on the other side of the cabin, we can see an infotainment touchscreen for the passenger, like on the Ferrari Roma or the F8 Tributo. We have a pretty good feeling that the inside of this car is gonna be freaking incredible. So that's Ferrari's first ever SUV. What do you guys think? Who's next? Is McLaren gonna make an SUV? Let me know. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.